have to make their decision. Mr. Matthews, for what purpose does the member rise? Please come to the microphone. <coughs> or the other microphone. Don, you only have about a minute and a bit left. Yeah, I was about to finish when people started asking questions. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Winton Matthews. Uh, Talk into the microphone. Sir, pick it you, up. you can take it out of the. Sorry. Uh, if this does pass, will there be instructions on the nominating ballot telling people you cannot nominate more than two in a particular? No. No, there's no requirement here to put anything like that. Uh, the administrators of the Hugo are essentially, when they send out the Hugo uh, ballots, I believe, are required to send out Article 3, which describes the Hugo Award. So buried in all the text that the uh, voters will receive will be these provisions. Second question is, is that Everywhere else, the, the, the nominees that get the most appear on the ballot. Will this be a way? Is this if there are four, you choose the top two? The administrators are required by this to put the one, the, in cases of conflicts under this, where they cannot put all of the, nom the ones that the nominators have, have nominated uh, on, they have uh, choose the ones with the most nominations. That's in the text. Yeah. Thank you. Dr. Adams, for what purpose does the member rise? We have 15 seconds. Do you have a question for Mr. Eastlake? There is 15 seconds yet left if the speaker will yield for a question and Mr. Adams will. Elspeth? Uh, I think Dr. Adams. Okay, that's fine. What about Mr. Weeks? There you go. I was just um, again, I still remain Adams. Um, my apologies, particularly since this is ratification line. Was at last year's meeting? We should have raised this then. Um, but I am concerned that, that the, uh, I'm not satisfied with the answer Mr. Eastlake has given to my previous question. Um, I therefore wish to make a motion to refer this to a committee to report back tomorrow to try and create something which uh, definitely allows the interpretation that Mr. Eastlake has put on within any amendments being a lesser change so that we can make this absolutely clear that this is the intent that if an author or a, um, a series has multiple works that it is then put to them um, to make sure because I really do think that the, the, uh, um, uh, the, the wording that we have here precludes doing that because it specifically says you must make the decision on which has the most and having done this job this year it's clear, you, you would take the top two of that and inform them that they are on the ballot and they would not know that they had other works potentially in there if they withdraw those. Ms. Foster, for what purpose does the member rise? Wait, wait. I need to come and If we were to vote on this right now, I would, I would vote, oh, my name is Adrian Foster and if we were to put this to a vote this very minute, I would vote no because Point I'm having a well, that's, that's, oh, you're, I'm sorry. you're out of order. There's a motion on the floor which is yet to be seconded. Second. All right, now we are going, Mr. Adams has given a speech in favor of the motion to refer to committee. So that is currently the motion in front of the body. Is there a speech against referring to committee? Mr. Olson. Question. Hi, Mark Olson. Uh, Sorry, Darcy Connolly. Uh, there's a sec uh, section of the motion that references section 3.2.5. Would it be possible for us to see section 3.2.5 to see whether that perhaps addresses the same issue that Dr. Adams has raised? Um, I can get it up pretty quick. You got a book. Can I get your name again? Darcy oh, Connolly. Okay. Just give us one second, and then Mr. Olson, you do have the floor f once. I have three up to five on the screen. We'll, we'll get there. <laughs> Can we make it? Do we need it bigger? Yes. Yeah, keep walking. Well, <laughs> Can we read it out loud? Those in a uh, sure. Um, sure, I'll we, read it. Yeah. 3.2.5 says, in the story categories, own brand 3.3.1-3.3.4 and 3.3.6, an author may withdraw a ver In the, the uh, story <laughs> categories, 
3.3.1 through 3.3.4 and 3.3.6, an author may withdraw a version of a work from consideration if the author feels that the version is not representative of what the author wrote. All right. Mr. Olson, I believe you are making a speech against referring to committee? Correct. Okay, can, uh, can you two points basically. The first one is, is that I don't think we want to try to write too much of the Hugo, why? I don't, don't think we want to write too much of the Hugo uh, administration rules into the Constitution. What? Okay. I don't think we want to write too much of the uh, Hugo nomination, uh, sorry, administration rules into the Constitution. So I believe that this is fundamentally unnecessary. Secondly, and probably more importantly, if it is in fact necessary, then it cannot be a lesser change and would push it into uh, second year ratification. Is there a speech in favor of the motion to refer to committee? Ms. Kovar. I would ask that if you can and you plan on speaking, move to the aisles, I know that, <laughs> but there are lip readers and we do have to have people come to the front if they can. Can you see Ms. Jones? Or do you need, does she need to come to the front? Um, I'm in favor of this. Name. Sorry. Yeah. Who am I supposed to be looking at? Name. 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 Thank you. Sorry. Elspeth Kovar. I'm in favor of this because primarily it's a bit of wordsmithing and double checking between two things. And it won't take more than a couple people, more than half an hour, to look it over and make certain everything fits together. Is there a speech against referring to committee? Yeah. Over there. Uh, Jay, Jason Spitzer. Um, I'm, I'm not fervently against this, but while I may be missing something and a little behind, I've read the paragraph and to me it seems pretty clear. So I guess one question I have is why, it, yeah, it's only a couple people, half an hour, why are we referring this to committee when, as far as everything read in 3.2.5, I believe it is, uh, or 3. The, the section that was read, I'm sorry, I can't remember the number. But everything that was read up there and then everything in the paragraph in the proposed amendment seems perfectly cogent to me, I don't know. Is there a speech in favor of the motion? Nathaniel Narod, having... You can pick it out of the... Nathaniel Narod, having just read 3.2.5, the provision for the author to withdraw the works only applies to the story category. The nominee diversity amendment as currently written applies to the dramatic presentation series. So there does not appear to be an opportunity for the creators of a dramatic presentation series to remove um, specific uh, nominees uh, of their choice from the uh, selection. I do not know whether that's deliberate or not, but I think it should be referred to committee. Before I recognize Mr. Harris, I would like to note, it, please don't stand before the previous speaker is finished to gain recognition. Um, Mr. Harris, are you giving a speech against? Um, the last point was well made. The reality is, sorry, Colin Harris. The last point was well made. The reality is, however, that although 3.2.5, as we have it written, it's actually a very narrow thing that's designed to enable authors to withdraw works that you know, an editor has changed and that they, they don't feel is representative. The reality is every year we actually allow nominees to withdraw themselves from any category. It happens on quite a regular basis. There is no explicit provision in the Constitution for that, but yes, we do is. it. And it's in 3.5 somewhere, okay. 3.6 uh, somewhere. So then in that case, it's probably that clause that maybe yeah. should be referred rather than 3.25. Um, but my argument would be that we have these capabilities already. Uh, we don't need to refer to committee to enable people to withdraw. And I would further agree with those who said it's acceptably implicit that the um, potential nominees would be consulted as part of the process. So I don't think it's necessary to refer to committee. Point to make, 